Welcome back to another episode of A Day in the Life of a Farmer on an Island. All right, so on this day, we are going for the harvesting of avocados. Now, as you know, if you are a farmer if you, or you're not, you know that the weather is very important, okay? And mostly this season, this is December, so this is Vlogmas also. Anyways, you know that the weather is very, very important. That being said, before we get right into the video in full, uh, you are welcome. If you're just coming across our video for the first time, you're welcome. Our channel is about fitness, health, wellness, well-being, you know, healthy eating, healthy living, all of the healthy and good stuff workout videos and more so you can subscribe if you enjoy content like that uh so let's proceed so i thought i was talking about the weather the weather in december on this island is something else okay one minute the weather could be good the next minute it's something else so when you have to do like harvesting planting and stuff like that you really really have to walk and watch keep checking the weather so on this day we are supposed to be harvesting avocados so we got to the farm the morning started a bit okay you know it looked like it was going to the sun was going to come out and then within a few minutes it was like mm -mm. the weather started changing it wanted to rain the wind was picking up a bit and then we had to see what we can do we're like okay are we going to be able to collect the avocados finished with it before the rain touches the ground so that's what you saw the first part i was moving around the farm we were contemplating should we go get the stuff that we need and we decided we are going to well it's not so much since we're not collecting all the avocados we have different races of avocados there so we were collecting just two races, and the rest we're not harvesting yet so we're like we will be able to go around what Three races of avocado, yeah, I have the farmer here too, correcting me. So three races of avocado we have on this particular farm. So we were collecting two race and uh, one of the race we're going to leave it for later. So we were thinking about it like, okay, we'll be able to harvest these two race before the rain touches down. So we started harvesting. So you see us moving from one tree to the other, standing some time talking, we're trying to figure which of the trees we're collecting and which one going in lines and checking. And some of the avocados are bigger in size than others so we need to know what we're going to leave on the trees for uh, personal consumption because this is the first time may i also add this farm is pretty new okay this is a new farm compared to other farms that we have this is very very new like it's a young farm so this is the first time we're harvesting for supply okay We've just only been harvesting for consumption, family, giving to like, close relatives, friends, and all of that. This is the very first time officially we're harvesting to supply. So, and we're able to collect about four boxes. Right here, what you see, we were, we were already halfway through, uh, and we're sorting them according to the uh, race, like I told you, and then we'll continue collecting so we can fill up the boxes and know how many box in total we are going to harvest uh trust me me personally i didn't even think that we'll be able to get as much as we got i was thinking maybe from next year or two years from now we'll be able to harvest this much for supply and yes uh, did i also mention the little one was there with us chasing the dogs all around she and the dogs was having a blast <laughs> so yes <laughs> it was fantastic so this is me uh, holding my phone on one hand and using the other hand to collect the um avocados get guess i have to get a phone stand when i'm filming with the phone so i'll be able to mount it and just do my job comment down below if you agree with me but anyways right now we were almost through i think we had like two two more threes left at this point to collect so i was just holding my phone and moving around like three people were already on that particular three so i was like that's enough um, let me just film a little bit content creators you know <laughs> so that's me looking under the tree to see anyone that they've missed so i can collect them so that's what is actually happening here uh so <laughs> 
multitasking okay so yes you can see it's it, it, it is looking good it is looking good uh, at the end of the day i felt we did a good job it was a good first for young farm at the beginning when we planted these avocados they struggled a little bit i didn't even think so many of them would survive it was something else with the weather uh, so I was like, oh my goodness, if we're able to even collect one box, I I remember I was saying, if we're able to get one box, we we should be grateful. But here you can see us lifting the boxes of avocados that we collected. Guess in the comment section how many boxes we got before I would say it. So here we finished collecting the two rays. So now we have one more. So we still have avocados in the farm, but those ones will be for personal consumptions and uh, small you know anyways um here we're lifting the boxes from different spots and bringing them closer to the gate of the farm yes the gate of the farm because you know you have stray animals stray dogs to be specific so you have to protect your farm or else everything is going to be destroyed so we have like it's fenced around and there's a small gate with the lock and key where you open and go in so we're bringing the boxes out uh closer to the gate so we can load them on the truck and um take it straight to the supplier so from there uh i I think i I also mentioned it i don't know if i did but yes small farms like if you're this is a small farm as you from what you can see you know there are people that have giant farms and have you know bigger supplies and a bigger harvest but we also have people that buy from people that have smaller farms so a lot of people with smaller farms will supply to these people and these people will now export it or take it to the supermarkets and all of that but one thing i love about this country is the fact that a lot of the fruits and vegetables you will see in some mostly if you're going to the smaller supermarkets you're getting it straight from the farm to that supermarket except you're going to this very big i don't want to mention any names but you, you Except you're going to the very big ones that would maybe import from different uh, continents sometimes. But if you're going to smaller supermarkets in Greece, know that there's a chance, and I, I could say 90% of what you will find in the fruit and vegetable will be things that are coming from the farm in the country. So you're sure that you're getting organic stuff, okay? This is correct organic avocado that you can use for your salad, you can use for your skin, you know, you know, you know, you can use for your hair. You know, avocado has is a multi-purpose uh, addition, vegetable, beef fruits, whatever it is. Uh, so you're able to use it and know you know that yes this is just coming from the farm we harvested it today and today we're taking it to the uh this in the buyers uh with the suppliers did i say suppliers all through okay so (laughs) we're taking it to the buyers and from there it will be in the supermarkets you see so it is that fast it happens that fast so right here we are done collecting the two races of avocados and we'll fill the we're placing them in the boxes and uh because we one of the box we actually filled it up to the brim and you know that's not how to do it okay so we're arranging it now that's what you are seeing right about now so in total we got four boxes of avocados right now we're leaving the farm and we are going to get ready to take the avocados to the buyer but uh at this point we're going to split because some of us need to go back to the farm and then some of us will take the avocado to the supplier that's what's going to happen right now so you can see the four boxes of avocado are in the trunk the truck and uh ready to go to the buyer's place okay so that's that's it that's that's that that's that yes 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 that is that but um we need to go back to the farm because we noticed that the bananas at the farm is actually not looking good so we would have to go and fix it because like i said the weather in december is always horrible with strong winds rain sometimes but the wind is what will really mess up your plants you know because it would it will uproot some of your plants the wind is that strong that even you as a human that is walking sometimes the winds can push you 
uh so yeah we're going to tie them because they are bringing fruits two of the um bananas are bringing fruit the other two are still young and now we still have younger ones coming uh, up so, but yes those two if we do ooh, not uh, don't pay attention to the chickens <laughs> tie them or put a stick right, or something so we to just hold finished, them properly uh, the wind is most definitely the... going to drop them and that's going to be very oh. annoying because these are also very yeah, young bananas that we just planted to see if it will work so it was just okay so we just finished harvesting the avocados for a try for a start uh, not two one of them like i said we have different the Types wind will allow them to grow some, and flourish and, um, and yes from two bananas now we have four so we got four you boxes see, four big and ones and yeah them at the small uh, market you know like they have small smaller shops that also pick up goods from people with small farms the chickens are just busy you know but anyways <laughs> it's a day in the life of a farmer so what's the video if you will not hear the chickens or you will not hear the animals okay or you will not see the fruits and vegetables the plants and all of that so pardon the screaming of that particular chicken that doesn't want to stop anyway so right now we're going to be go taking it down to the uh buyers and that's going to be the end of this particular video but like I said, you know, when you have small farms, you have like small people that are into buying from people that have small farms and then they yeah. supply. But anyway, that being said, see you on the next.